Hey folks, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. And welcome back to another video on the Triumph Trident. This time, a little bit controversial perhaps, because I'm not gonna be talking about things that uh, make this a great bike, but I'm actually gonna be talking about the things that I found out about the bike that I actually hate about it. So uh, stick around, stay tuned. Here's uh, a few things that I don't like about the Triumph Trident. Okay, so right off the bat, as our American cousins would say, uh, don't get me wrong, the Triumph Trident actually is a very, very good bike, but no bike is perfect, is it? And uh, not everything about the Trident is absolutely brilliant. So when I say, here's some things I hate about the bike, maybe hate is, hate is a little bit of a strong word, but just bear with me, and I'll show you some of the things about the bike that aren't quite right. So as somebody who prides himself in always riding a clean bike, one of the things I definitely don't like about the Triumph Trident is this. The, uh, the back end on here, uh, how it throws dirt all over itself. I mean, check this out. This is uh, just after one ride in the rain. It's absolutely filthy on the back here. And uh, I don't much like the, this back thing here either. This looks sort of GS-ish. And it doesn't even work very well, as you can see. So yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a negative point of the Trident. So one thing where I think the Trident definitely comes up short is on its provision for pillion riders. Now I know the bike isn't necessarily aimed at people that are going to take a pillion, but uh, if you're going to fit pillion pegs on a bike and sort of pretend at least that you can take a passenger, at least uh, do a good job of it. Now uh, what I mean about its uh, lack of provision for pillion, well let me stop up here and I'll show you uh, the facilities that a pillion has on the Trident and see what you think. Okay, let me show you the, the pillion provision. So basically, you've got uh, pillion pegs, which rather handily actually are on these bolt-on bits, so you can take these off if you're never going to take a pillion, which is handy. But uh, looking at the back of it, number one, the seat is quite small for a pillion. Can you imagine being sat on there? Uh, I personally wouldn't fancy that. And then the other thing is, this is the standard bike, no grab handles. Where is the pillion supposed to hold on? Now, you can get accessory grab handles, but again, if a bike is designed to take a pillion, as this clearly is because it's got the foot pegs, you've got to have, as standard, surely, some grab handles on there. So that's something that uh, I just think is a bit naff about the Trident. As standard, it just does, it's just not near, really set up for a pillion, as far as I'm concerned. So how about going on a splendid motorcycle tour on the Trident through the uh, beautiful English countryside, or indeed anywhere else for that matter? Well, of course you can tour on any motorcycle, so you can do it, but uh, is it ideally suited? Well, this I think is where the Trident falls down a little bit, and then it's not great from a touring point of view. It's certainly comfortable enough, you can ride this bike all day long, the seating position is lovely and comfortable, the seat isn't that uncomfortable, I've got plenty of room on the bike as a medium-sized fellow. There's a lake there, I've never noticed that before, splendid. But where it lets itself down is it's really got no luggage uh, carrying capability to talk about. So in the accessory catalogue, there is a tank bag, uh, which is a rather large thing that sits on here, but you're not gonna fit enough for a couple of weeks away in that. Uh, but there doesn't appear to be any accessory luggage rack or baggage or anything like that. And because of the way the back end of this is, it's, you know, it's quite distinctive the back end on this short and stubby, there's not really anywhere to lash a bag much either. I mean, you could lash a bag on, I suppose, if you got creative but you're not going to be taking a, a pillion and baggage away, that's for sure. So if you fancy going on tour on your motorcycle, then perhaps look elsewhere. Okay, so another thing uh, that I hate about the bike, and this is something that uh, is probably controversial, and it is entirely subjective, so it might just be me, but that is the looks of the bike. There's something about it that just doesn't sit quite right with me, and I think the word stubby is what's, what, uh, what stands out for me, or what comes to mind. I mean, in isolation, there's nothing about the bike that's unpleasant, but in, in the flesh, it's just this front bit, the rake or something, it just looks too stubby. Now, I know the GoPro's got a wide-angle lens, so it might distort it a bit, but in real life, this whole front bit just seems too up short and it's kind of accentuated by the fact that it's got the the blunt back end as well which actually i quite like the design of the back end in a way but the front just looks too stubby to me so as a whole the bike for me personally doesn't just doesn't look right okay so there we go those are the things that i don't like about the bike as i said at the start of the video maybe hate is a little bit of a strong word because generally this is a great motorcycle if you haven't watched the other videos i have on the trident on my channel do go and have a look at those and get a bit more of a balanced view but i did think it was worth pointing out some of the things about the bike that i personally don't like some of these things yes of course they're subjective and you may disagree with me and uh, i'll be very interested to see in the comments whether you do agree or disagree with me or indeed if there's anything else about the bike that i've missed 
uh, that you personally don't like I'd like to see those as well and it just helps to give us a rounded picture of these new motorcycles as they come on the market so I hope that's been of uh, some interest to you if you're not done so already don't forget to hit that subscribe button it would be great to have you along on the next video all right until then this has been the Missenden Flyer cheerio